snowing again. I miss San Diego, Pat. Special guest today, look who we have. Well, I guess you guys can't tell by the car, but look who decided to come spend the rest of the week with us. What's up, guys? <laughs> For all the Twitch gang, you guys know that is Pat over there. And you guys actually saw him in the daily uploads when we went to North Carolina Tuner Evo. Uh, Pat came and visited us for that as well. So he's made the drive all the way out, out to, to Connecticut to come hang out with us this week and help film and take pictures and stuff. And he brought a SUV, which is super cool. We're heading to the shop now and pretty sure we get to finish up the RB26 today. Just East Coast things, man. You just know you don't have this on the West Coast. <laughs> Welcome back to the garage guys. We are getting work done. Josh has been, Josh and Tim have both been crushing it today. So Josh got the intake manifold on. He's also running the engine harness right now. So we got all the injectors in. Um, am I missing anything that you did? Uh, that. Besides I'm, like everything. I didn't shit up. Yeah, like diff covers on, just stuff. Oh yeah, nothing. super dope. And look at all the hardware guys. Yeah, just, vent. just appreciate the zinc hardware and all the just goodness in here. Well, I get everything kind of ran because I hate when they like cross over. It bothers yeah. me. So I'll have everything like cinched up. I got to do like your fast idle valve here. This hose to here for your AAC. You got your heater block off. I'm going to tap in before I get too far. Dope. Yeah. So yeah. That's Injectors look. There and the fuel rail is going to not be blue anymore, which is awesome. Oh yeah. I'm going to go shoot in the vapor blaster right now. So engines going in today. The today goal is the goal. The goal. I think it's gonna be. What's up? Uh, Tim's been slaying it, doing axles. Yeah. So let's go. Let's show you guys. <laughs> shit job. Yeah. Let's show you guys what Tim's been working on. So we needed an axle no, I mean, rebuild. It's like a shitty job. Our front axles were absolutely blown. So Tim has been rebuilding these axles over here. It's his first time. I'm proud of him. So what, what Tim? Do you want to come explain what you've been doing down here? Well, first off, you gotta break everything apart. I don't have the old stuff because it's in the trash and it's yeah. gross. But uh, you know, there's gross gear oil and stuff in here. Not gear oil, axle grease in here. So I got everything apart. Took it to the uh, the wash tub over there. Oh, yeah. Parts cleaner and, and cleaned, cleaned everything all. out the best I could because these don't come out. They press out. Yeah. So, but everything's clean now. I'm letting it dry. And then we're going to put everything back together with factory. factory OEM parts. We're going to have basically brand new axles. Yeah, so it comes with the boot, the clamps. There's uh, grease in here too. I don't know if you saw nice. that, but yeah, everything's here and they'll be brand spanking new. Yeah. I wish I could have shown you guys the axles previously. Actually, I can show you the subframe. Look at this. This is all just grease and yuck from the old axles leaking and just being not that good. Nasty. And now we have pretty much brand new axles. So the team has been absolutely crushing it. And uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna go show you guys Ben blasting the, the fuel rail since you guys just ruined everything. We had to get rid of all the blue, you know? No more, I'll have my subtle hints up here. Okay, look, we got the gears. Oh no, I was thinking of throwing that in the Vapor Blaster too. Huh. So the Vapor Blaster, I don't know why they call it that. To be completely honest, the company's called Vapor Honing Technologies. You need to get yourself one. It turns all this aluminum fresh without silver paint yeah without without silver paint so uh it actually has like a glass bead powder mixed with water it actually it feels like confectionery sugar confectioner confection um real fine and it runs across the surface while you're spraying it and it just picks up the the uh the dirt and shit and it makes it look pretty it's awesome. So Ben's in there blasting the. Uh, It'll take anodizing right off. <laughs> yeah, the which fuel is rail. Why, which is why we own it. Anything <laughs> blue, put son, it right in. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, I agree. No, come <laughs> on! Don't turn Tim against me. That would look so the Tim blue, is converting, brother. The blue is contrast. Okay, look at look in here. See so that? is silver. Shut up. But this is the shit that's cool because none of our engines are fucking purple, but you look in there and you'll see purple HKS, purple belt. Yeah. No, the see, blue is in there. Exactly, the blue's in there. Hidden. From the eyes. So I, the I, I will know, you guys watching will know, okay? How so. stoked are you going to be to put that big gold clutch on? Get, today's the day. I'm going to... Today's the day. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> but today's the day. Today's the day. I, 
I don't know why I've been the most excited to just install the yeah, OS goober. Guide King clutch. I am a goober. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the OS clutch, uh, it is cool. I remember putting my first one on and like immediately putting the transmission on. You're like, fuck. Oh, I know, I don't want to cover see it. it again. <laughs> I'm going to take a million pictures, but yeah, that's what's going down today. Goal is to get the uh, engine in the car. Ben is also going to be fabricating sick titanium intake to an ARC box. Like, tons of really cool plans. So, the goal today is to get that in and I'm gonna show you guys the fuel rail once Ben gets done blasting it. Now I'm gonna oh, bug yeah. Ben. This is our lower timing cover. It doesn't fit with the uh, gear that we have for our pickup. Right. PRP, so we're actually gonna shave this. So it'll actually be able to be removed and installed without pulling the crank pulley. Nice, that's But it'll dope. actually protect this. Cause that's like, sick. I hate that. Like how do people do this shit? They take their timing covers off. I think it's dumb as hell, so. Uh, I can pop this off. Yeah, I'll be able to slip this in. And it'll have like a little bit of window around this. It's just this is very obstructive. Then you see the tutorial videos on people putting these in. They don't run timing covers and I just, I'm not about that life. Yeah, so. that's cool. So we're going to do all that. Today is going to be a very productive day just like yesterday, but hopefully we get it in. Dude, yeah. so Josh just installed the uh, new subframe. So this is a completely like recoded. Um, Look at that. Yeah, this is my old subframe, which I showed you guys. My axle just leaked all over it. It's old and gross. They actually refreshed this subframe, painted it matte black, which is really nice. So we have like a pretty much like an all new refreshed subframe. Going and you're on. getting a special part. This is Alex Bowman's car, NASCAR okay. driver. This is his old steering rack. It's already prepped to be blasted. He has perfect inner tie rods and boots. So I'm going to blast this. I'll respray this, like refurb it before it goes in because right. I don't really want to do yours right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's freaking awesome, dude. So, so I have a NASCAR driver steering rack. So that's just a cool thing. So we're getting everything refreshed. This is going to be so nice. And as small of a difference as this can make, it's going to be a huge, huge improvement to the overall car and driving the car. It's going to be so good. It moves here. So they are putting the turbo manifold on right now to see uh, to see fitment. And we're going to be clocking the turbo too to see where the turbo is going to sit to run piping and all that good stuff, right? Yeah, so I think we're going to have to probably have it kind of up is going to make the most sense. Oh, Throw that wait. on. Also, Josh found all OE hardware for this too, so it's yeah. going to look really clean. And Ben is over there doing his wizardry with some welding. He's going to reroute. That looks really close and now I'm scared. Close. Put that on. Oh, if it's we're it's good. Freaking so we do have to rotate yeah, it though. Can you clock it first, oh, Josh? Yeah. Give me a heart attack, Tom. Dude, it looked like because look at this angle. These studs go right up into the valve cover. Right. So I thought the turbo was gonna be like right here, but it's because it steps off, it's got like it'll probably have like a half inch. Further away than the yeah. other Is it? So we are using some of your piping, Tommy, correct? So what we're using is Greddy lower piping. So here, here. And then from out of the intercooler to the, the inlet. So all we have to do is make from here to here. So what I like to do is a 90 coupler, tweak down or whatever way we clock this and then clamp it. And then all Ben has to do is make a pipe from, so Ben's gonna have to make a pipe. If it goes 90 here, Ben has to make a pipe from here and the other one comes out here. So it's gonna be like 12 inches of pipe that Ben has to fabricate nice. instead of yeah, it's five all feet. Of it. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's super, super simplified. Like we said, that's the goal for this and it's gonna look freaking sick, obviously. I can't wait to show you guys what we have planned for the intake and stuff. Okay, quick little update. Uh, it's been kind of a slower day because we're waiting on a couple of parts that we need. Tim is running over to Jimmy Oak's shop right now to go grab our ECU and all of our sensors to get that ready to wire in to the chassis as well as the engine. The engine's gonna go in tonight. That is the ultimate goal and I think it's gonna happen. But while we're doing that, we have Ben here who is uh, Tom's wizard of welding and painting and all that good stuff. He is currently about to powder coat our fuel rail and our ARC intake box which we're going to use in the engine bay with a titanium intake from our HKS turbo. It just blows my mind that I just said that. But yeah, he's about to powder coat that. I want to get a little bit of film for you guys of this process. Let me see it. Let me see this. Get here. All finished up. Dude, this looks awesome. Look at that fuel rail. Yeah, the fuel rail looks gangster. It's not dude. blue anymore. Ah, oh, shucks. I hate you. You know? I hate you. But no, the ARC box looks awesome. Yeah, the fuel rail looks awesome. This looks so good in the engine. Bay. So, hold on. OS clutch is going in, baby. So, Josh and I are going to work on that real fast and show you guys. That's what I'm excited for. These sound insane. 
uh, like in the car. I don't know why I'm so excited for this because it's gonna be a miserable driving experience for me, but it's gonna be awesome. And like Tommy said, it holds 98,000 horsepower, so. It's brutal. <laughs> we got, uh, Josh went ahead and already uh, disassembled the entire OS guy can clutch. This thing is just beautiful. You'll never ever see it again, except yeah. for now, but it's so, so pretty. So we have the flywheel, the pressure plate, and the rest of the truck here. Yeah, like the discs are sick, like they look super. You can pull that rear plate up if you want. Yeah. Take it to the seat. Look at this. Beautiful copper, man. So this is a, uh, a triple plate clutch yep. here, a triple disc clutch. And it's going to be super gnarly. So we're going to be installing this on the back of the RV. Which, let me just do a, a quick walk around of this thing, because it just looks beautiful now that we have the manifold on, which you have to come, come off to finish some things. But all the hardware, the RV, it's just, it's just beautiful. Now, putting the OS on there. Cherry on top. Yep, and then Ben will finish this for you. So we're able to put this cover in, he's notching for this. It'll be finished. It'll be finished and ready to go in basically. It'll look sick. Hoo hoo, we're getting there. All right, let's put this clutch in. Okay. <laughs> so we have ARP flywheel bolts now too. That's sick. Yeah, you gotta do it. Oh, that finish, dude, it's sick. It's really sick, dude. Very, very nice. This is a, this is sick. I'm... These are always covered in heat spots and they look so <laughs> bad after like, you know, 20 years of abuse. It's like a glove, dude. That's beefy, dude. I'm about it. That's beefy. Yep, let me grab a... And these are super nice. What do you need? So when you do this, people are weird. They think you put it on the threads, you don't. You put it just on that, so it doesn't tear metal away from your flywheel. Nice. The more you know, secrets secrets by Josh. That's what, that's what this series is. Nobody reads the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta read it. Yeah, or you could, or you could do that. People always say do red. I don't do red. Red is like a tractor. Permanent. Right? Yep. wrestling this at a weird angle it's annoying <laughs> satisfying oh, yeah. sick so the OS Gaikin clutch is now in this thing is gonna be absolutely nuts it will be nuts and it looks beautiful it does look sick I don't know why this is one of the parts I was most excited for going on the car and it looks freaking great even though you'll never ever see it again but for a personal standpoint here it looks freaking dope you should, you should sign it sign it no way so I can sell it <laughs> okay the clutch is in Pretty much, Josh, we're almost like ready to throw this thing in, right? Just about. Just about. So one last big parts update here. I think this is like the last big uh, big uh, package of parts that we're getting. Let's bring it over here, actually. So I have to give a massive, massive thank you to Jimmy O. Jimmy Oaks, everybody. He actually helped me secure a Link ECU. Huge thank you to Link as well. Um, I'm gonna link Jimmy's channel and his website down below in case you guys need anything ECU and Link related. Jimmy O, as you guys know, is the hookup for that. So massive thank you to Jimmy. We'll see you in a couple of days to tune the GTR, which is gonna be sick. So we have a Link Storm ECU here, and we also got all of the sensors and adapters and stuff that we need and flex fuel. All all courtesy of Link and Jimmy. So this is gonna be really dope. And this is the final piece of the puzzle that we needed to finish up the car. And it's pretty much done and ready to go now. So we literally have all these sensors. Let's see what we have here. We have pressure sensor, our can cable, our air temp. We have our ECU header can. What is this right here? Oh, here's our Lambda right here. Four sensor, four more sensor and our, another pressure sensor here. So everything is here and good to go. Now we're just, Josh and Tim are gonna finish, finish up some accessories. Oh, I need to show you guys the brake booster too. And this car, or this engine's gonna go in tonight. Let's check out the brake booster that Josh did too. Josh, the brake booster came out amazing. 
So I don't, I should have shown you guys a before and after this, but our brake booster was all nasty and like rusted and just Josh went ahead and sanded it down, painted it for us. And the cool thing is he even kept our little Nissan OEM sticker up top here. It's a nice OEM plus thing there. Yeah. It's dope. Brand new looking brake booster can go in with everything too. So we're going to be uh, intelligent about this. We have a lift cart that I stole from Rudnick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the back. We're going to point it out this little gate. Okay. That way we have, I can hook the chain hoist to the back of this to tilt the engine up. And we'll just walk it right on. Send it, brother. I'm kind of thinking that's all. Those are thick, right? These are really nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. So the engine is now good and ready to go back in. There are a couple of things that we need to modify, but that'll be done tomorrow. Uh, some wiring things and other miscellaneous stuff, but the engine is good. Engine. Engine. <laughs> it's ready to go back in. So. so let's show them what we had to rig. So okay. one, this used to be a dash eight. We had to put a dash six on there. When you get back to California, you're going to need to change it out. You okay. probably won't because you're a dickhead, <laughs> but you should. Uh, we got rid of your blue fuel rail. How oh, cool is it that I we don't agree. go in-house? When shit comes in blue, we make it black. <laughs> it is very cool that you guys have that in-house. So they did make this black. I, I'm with you guys. I like the blue. I got a lot of comments. Well, we left this bullshit on there. I got a lot of comments yesterday or today. They're like, that... I'm really bummed about the blue. Yeah. Well, what I say to you is too fucking bad. Yeah, no taste. <laughs> <laughs> You're tacky and I hate you. No, uh, the blue is just, I don't know. It's... It looks good now. Now it's not too much blue. There's uh, accents everywhere. We saw the dress up bolts in the engine bay too. So it looks good. So now engine goes in. I can do that. And then uh, you're on your own. No. <laughs> so we'll see ya. Yeah, so we'll see ya. You ready? <laughs> you want me to wheel her? Yeah, uh, did you want to scrape this shit off first? While it's open? Oh, the grease. All the actually, you bitch. This guy. Are you recording? Like I said, Santa. I got my engine install shoes on. <laughs> Santa Tom. Sick, dude. All right, bring her down. Who wants a minute? How annoying is this if we have to like go up and down real quick? Oh, yeah. It's two years of waiting and first time in two years is gonna look cool four weeks or four days years. pretty yeah, yeah. You've only actually yeah. never look cool. four days and he ripped this thing out ripped. fucking rebuilt it and it looks fucking sick. now it's going back in this is crazy this is too much of our typical we should have done blue or something this is too Fuck too you. much of our typical Are you joking me yeah i'm joking you <laughs> so we weren't really prepared for you i know it was a split if we could if we were like i'll come in a month we could have bought like powder like dustin williams powder coat which would be blue we could have bought <laughs> other things and been more prepared instead of like Robbing them from our buddy's engines. Clark, thank you for the valve covers. Could have went and bought some GM blue paint for the block. <laughs> yeah, we, Ford. Ford. Ford You'll blue. never live that down. I'm going home. You'll it wasn't even me. Could have put Max. Fuck, fuck all you. The fucking thing. <laughs> Got it real ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's sick. Instead, you're stuck with these junk Nissan Guys, rods. I feel like I've gone to prison, and I'm gonna come home a whole new fucking you're man. Performed. I am. You went to Connecticut, man. We all talk shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a, I'm, I'm prison <laughs> dut now. Down. Down. Drop it like it's uh, gonna work good. <laughs> but you didn't think that was coming. <laughs> that was coming. Does this one. fit? Yeah. With we'll this? It out with that. Yeah. yeah. Leave it right there. I'll get it. Keep going. So, so I'm gonna slide the back. You wanna kick the back off?
this shit in? I want to throw these on. Oh my yeah. god. It's in. This is fucking crazy. You gotta get some of these too. So, yeah. I know you guys never pull engines. You should get one for when you start. This mother. How do you deal with How do you live here? <laughs> it's I only come around when people like you are here. So he doesn't take his anger out on me, he takes it out on you. Good, good to know. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> you can come back when like TJ's here or something. Yeah, oh, even, even better. I love giving TJ <laughs> shit. That oh, looks rad. This looks so good. Dude. I can't wait so the turbo's good. on and it's just back down like towards the ground. Yeah. So I'm not as tall as everyone. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the bird's eye. You're like, wow, the PRP looks This is so, I don't, like, yeah. you guys don't understand because it's not your car, but like two years hey, down. guys, you don't get it. Okay? You, you don't. You don't know. Two, two, <laughs> two years down and in four days, these guys pull it, rebuild the entire thing whole new setup and we prettied it up we did like you know like yeah. some shops would be like let's just throw it together we had to make it look better at the same time literally if you have a gtr and you don't come here you're dumb dude, this is shoot can't dude. believe you're calling your viewers oh. dumb dude. I, I, money youtube changed you yeah. <laughs> it's because i'm here i told you guys i went to prison and now i'm back so shit talk <laughs> everybody now comparing coming now. here to, to going go to, to prison, prison. <laughs> Imagine in prison you got your RB26 done. In prison, though. No, yeah, it's, ma it's mainly skyline, just get it's mainly it. hanging hanging out with Tommy's like going to prison. Dude, <laughs> TJ, I can say it on your channel. TJ told me to jump off the parking garage. Remember? <laughs> I was like, holy shit, we've been around each other for seven no, minutes. No, but seriously, there's there's no other shop that I can think of in the U.S. that can do this with all the parts that they have here in four days in front of you. Like that's that's just insane. I couldn't re recommend this anymore. We're gonna do all Nissans. I kind of want to get into some S chassis soon. You yeah, know? you are. You are. are. They're a lot <laughs> easier. Josh is under. <laughs> Anybody can do that. This is crazy. So we got Josh under here mounting all of the uh, the brackets right now. So this thing is this thing is in. I just want to see the turbo one, and then yeah. I'm done. I'm you are you got. I'm not even gonna come in. I'm off. You guys are just gonna do it. Once I see the turbo one, I'm good. I'm fucking ready. I'm just gonna drop it. And if the engine's on there. <laughs> Oh, you got lucky. Oh my god, dude, lucky. it's Josh in. It's freaking in. This is so cool. <sighs> can you can you believe this? <laughs> Not four, really. Four days ago, we were driving 40 hours <laughs> from California here. and This far. It's awesome. This is so awesome. Like This is further than it was even with all the stuff that was on it before. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sure. before it was like fake far. <laughs> like, I'm not saying talking shit. The weird thing is like people will do what you did and... The last 10% is actually the last 60. We are truthfully at the last 10% at this point, you yeah. know? Yeah. But I've done it before. I mean, you know, we build yeah. a car and then you're like, I need fittings, I need couplers, I need hood. And like that shit takes so much longer than just putting the engine in or right. putting a turbo on. Right. This is unbelievable. Can we put the turbo on? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, we can. All right, do the honors, Josh. I mean, gladly. Too late. Oh, oh my God, no. Oh. There you go. Wow, Hell dude. Yeah. That was such a good move doing the HKS turbo, dude. Yeah. You got some good ideas sometimes. <laughs> Psych. That was my idea. <laughs> you <That. fucking> asshole. <laughs> Psych. Fucking guy. Psych. Prison Dutz and a change man. This is it. This is so much better. This is so good. Final touch. We're done. You guys can go back to Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this looks so... I'm I'm shocked how much better it looks. I was, not, it was obvious this was going to happen. I, was, I saw what it looked like before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, this can only look better. <laughs> I'm just not even going to talk no, anymore. It looks, it looks good. Can't wait to do TJ Hunt's new... Exposed! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is where we're gonna end on today. Motors in. We have a lot more to do tomorrow. Literally connecting everything, connecting everything that we disconnected from the engine. We are finalizing the wiring harness. Ben has to fabricate our intake, our downpipe, fix our exhaust, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But we are getting close, and the first start might be Saturday. Bink. Hey, Put it off. Watch it. I also have to cut the hood. Because this freaking turbo is too big and it hits the hood right here and we can't oh, close the yeah. hood. Jump Chinese, so it doesn't fit. <laughs> Damn it, dude. So yeah, a lot of work tomorrow, but all that matters is the engine is in and this is actually crazy. A week ago, this car was completely unusable. And today, we're almost there. Like, we have 10% left to go. This is nuts. So we're going to head back to the Airbnb. I'm going to edit this video and we'll be back bright and early tomorrow.
Yeah, right. You'll be here at 10.30 like every other day sleeping in, doing what the fuck. Don't zoom on me, bro. I invented the zoom. <laughs> Look at you. I invented the fucking zoom. The fuck is that? Oh, the fifth long day. We are back at the Airbnb. A lot has been done today, as you guys can see. And tomorrow, a lot more is gonna get done. Hopefully all the fabrication tomorrow gets done and the car will be ready for starting on Saturday, which means Jimmy can put his magic touch on it and get it tuned, hopefully good enough, just so we can make to California and get like a full, full tune. But Jimmy's gonna work some magic. I'm just finishing up the reveal video for the 86. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I do wanna see, I do want to say, the daily vlogs are over now. Uh, we did five, six full days of daily vlog, I think. Either five or six full days of daily vlogs, and now um, by at this point in time, I don't know what day it is when this video goes live, but at this point in time, Tim and I are most likely heading back home to California, and um, I'll be uploading throughout the week again, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, hope you guys enjoy the daily vlogs, but it's over now. Like I said, I don't know what the timeline is. It's gonna be really weird, so I don't know what's coming up next, but I'm sure it's good, and it's all gonna be GTR, you guys are gonna see the GTR series up until the car is up and running and going back to California. So stay tuned, it's gonna be great. Um, it should be a little bit more spread out now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna finish up editing the reveal. Worked really hard on it. Steven from Sam Subi worked really hard on it. And uh, we're excited for you guys to see it. So if you guys have not already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.